Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use sections in Microsoft Forms. And I'll show it to you in both ways, whether you're building a new form or you have an existing lengthy form, then how you can break that lengthy form down into sections. So the two big advantages that I want to focus on, one of them I already mentioned, is the ability to go ahead and break down a very lengthy form. And I'll show you that in actually a demo that I have. But the other one is that you can actually make the changes in bulk. So I'll show you that once a section is created, you can either duplicate it in bulk, you can move it in bulk, and you can also add the branching features in bulk. And that is one of the really good reasons why I want to spend some time building this because it really has a lot of neat features available. All right, so done with the slide work, let's jump into the demo. So what I have is a form that I've already built over here, and it's one of those you know general medical history forms, like you're seeing the doctor or a specialist for the first time, and you gotta fill this big long form I'm not complaining about the form, but I am complaining about the length of the form. And as you can see over here, I've got like 25 some different questions, right down from your in general information to your you know, from your contact information, then down to a little bit more information about yourself, um, you know, getting more information about any existing um, medical issues or med medications that you're taking. And then after that, you know, any additional recreational um, drugs that are using basically this, this you know, the, the simple forms that you always fill out. I'm using that as an example because it's a really big form. And in here, we're going to go ahead and use the concept of sections. All right, so let's let's start that from the beginning, right? Right here, I want to take a simple, like the introduction piece, you know, your contact information. That's what I want to focus on over here. All right, so to add the section, the first thing you want to do is, if it's a brand new section that you're doing, what I do is go ahead and click on the very top question over there, and it could be even a survey. So I click on it. And normally when you're making a change, you would hover towards these three ellipses over there, but that's not the case over here. You wanna actually pretend like you're adding something new, which in reality you are adding a new section. So you click on this new button over here, you ignore the four ones that are already available, but you click on the drop down, and there you add the section. Now by default, the section kind of broke it down into two of them, the one on the top and the one on the bottom. But what I wanna do is now go ahead and put the, you know, the name, so I want to actually name the section. So here I'm going to put that in as contact information. And I could also go ahead and put in a nice, um, you know, picture over there, a video. I could even make some description, but that's that's going to be my section. Now what I do is I got to move some stuff to the section. I can't just drag and drop. So what I got to do is I got to click on that and I got to click the top arrow. So that one's moved over there. Next, I want to click on the city and go ahead and move that up over there go ahead and move the state, basically just your contact information. I want to go ahead and move all of that over here. All right, let's see what else we want to do. Phone number, yeah, let's go move the phone number too. Here, email address, yep, that falls under the contact information, so let's move up over here. And I'll keep this for the next section. So now we've gotten a, you know, a simple contact information done over there, and that's fallen into a section, like a, you know, almost like a group over there. And it really makes it easier to go into section by section. You know, that's the whole kind of, you know, very intuitive section over there. <laughs> I just said intuitive section. All right, so in the section one is done, let's go ahead and focus now on the section number two. In section number two, I'm gonna say this is a um, additional important information. And then I already got some neat stuff over here. So let's just make sure I've already got all them, which kind of applies to this section. So date of birth is good, marital status is good, contact information, occupation, um, ethnic group, all right, so here I'm gonna block because now when you start getting into the medical stuff, I wanna put that into a different section. All right, so what do I do? I can either come over here or I can go to the top, either one of them, I can go ahead and break that down the section. Now, if you remember in the last one, the first section I did, I put it in a way and two sections got built. That's because where I clicked on it, the, ad, the plus add new is a very strategic location where you gotta make the choice over here. So in this way, I actually want, I already got you know this uh, great placement for the uh, section. So I'm gonna go and click on the bottom one because that's where I want all the medical information to come in. So I'm gonna click over here, again, select down, section. And you see, it kept the top into a separate section already. The one that we created kept over there. So kind of, does it make sense what I meant is that strategically you gotta plan where the next section is going to start. And there you go ahead and make that add new because that just makes it easier for you to add those you know chunks of the section over there. So here I'm gonna say, you know, um, existing uh, medical information. And in this case, I've already got something neat. I've got the allergies, medications, health concerns to be addressed, um, or all that. So, okay, 
that's good. What I want to do now is I want to go ahead and add another section. I'm going to force it over here, add new, again down, new section, and I'm going to say recreational drugs. And here I can go ahead and just see what else got that tobacco use, household, blah, blah, quit dates, all of that is good. All right, so this is pretty much done over here because now what I can do is if you actually go ahead and see the information, if I click on preview, now it's no longer a big long form, the 25 some questions. You're not going through and scrolling each and every one of them because if you already noticed, see that scroll bar over here? That's gotten short. It's not a really big scroll uh, scroll bar. So it's kind of uh, helpful. Um, also, you don't see the term section. That section is only when you're in the design phase. Because I know when I was playing with this, like, oh man, is it going to say that this is a section? Because it didn't even give me an option to kind of change that. But don't worry, that's only in the design phase. It'll disappear when you actually do it in the preview. And so here we can go ahead and start doing that. So my name is, you know, John Doe, address is 123 Main Street, blah, blah, blah. Um, see Seattle, State, Washington. You know, zip code, I think it's like 980 something something one. Uh, phone number, uh, 123, 123, 1234. Uh, John Doe at Contoso.com. And after all of that, when I click on next, it takes me to the next section. And watch, now I go into the next section. It tells me what is this section about, tells me most of these are, are, are um, required. And it just makes flow, you know, the flow of building a large survey, the whole scrolling down can be very mundane. It can actually even affect sometimes people it's like, man, I got to fill this big long form. No, now that you've broken it down into sections and chunks, it makes it easier for people to actually adapt uh, and, you know, focus on the content over there. So what you as a user or a maker of the form has to do is you got to plan that section out very well. Uh, and that's something that is up to you. So you got to manage that. All right, so I'm done breaking the sections. Now, some of you existing form users may say that, Daniel, there is some slick ways I can do, you know, at each of the question level. Big one is I can go into branching at a question level based on a condition. Can I do that over here when I've broken it down to the sections? And the answer to that is yes, it, you really can. So let's go back over here and I wanna kind of show you right now into the first section. If I click on these ellipses, look at all these options it's giving you. It gives you the option to duplicate a section so let's think about that for a minute. If you have certain questions which are kind of repetitive and you just want to change the title of the question, um, yes, you can go ahead and click on that and you can go ahead and you know, um, you know, recreate that question, copying and you know, things like that. Right here actually is the copy functionality. Uh, but what if now an existing set of questions are going to be you know worth recreating and you just you know change the question um, uh, uh, question title itself or the text? Well, now you can do it in chunks you can do that in sections. So that is huge. I can go ahead and rebuild that in sections over the duplicate a full section. Um, moving section is neat because right now I know that in the questions itself, I can click on that. I got the arrow which is going up, arrow that is going down. You know, it's, it's pretty intuitive. But again, now that I've got a question, I mean, uh, all the set of questions in a section, I can move the whole section. And that can be so helpful to you in scenarios, you know, where you have a section of questions um, and you say that in the, in the flow of the questionnaire, I wish I had these sections moved, uh, these questions moved to a below section after a certain set of questions were answered. And if you wanted to do things like that, now you can do that in, in, in a chunk, in a section over there. So that's neat. You can add branching at a section level. Now, for those of you who are existing form users, you already know what branching is, right? You can go ahead and, uh, you know, add the branching option where based on the, you know, certain questions which are added, I can go ahead and, you know, jump straight to the next one, which is the go to the next one. You can actually do that at the straight, uh, at the question level. So you know that this is at the question level, but now you got this option for branching options and you don't have to click over here. This doesn't give you, it just resets it. Resets means it goes ahead and takes you out over there. But for the branching option, for section one, you just scroll down, keep scrolling, and right here it says go to next. And go to next, it gives you the other sections as an option. So if you finished these questions over here, you have the functionality to jump a certain questions uh, or jump a certain sections and go to the next sections, or you can go ahead and end over there. It gives you that same flexibility for branching, but it goes ahead and does it at a section level. So that's pretty neat. All right. Let's continue on that. Now, when I go to the sections over here, I have the option to go ahead and even remove the section. 
Now, this is the one you got to be a little careful of because when you go and click on that, it gives you two options when you need to read what that option is. Uh, and it makes a little sense, but just be a little cautious. One is just remove the section. What removing the section means is that for here, I've got a section for contact information. If you want to go ahead and now take all those questions and just make them as individual questions and remove them from the section, that is what you use, is that just section. But here is section and questions. Now, this can come out and be a little careful. So what basically, if it, when I click on it, it's good because it's doing, it's doing a whole trust but verify. So are you sure you want to permanently delete contact information and all the questions under it? So that's why you say that you want to be a little careful on that one because that's literally what it is. It's not just the section. It is also all the questions in it. So when you click on that, you got to make sure that you which one you select. So, you know, in this case, I'm saying that, okay, I just want to go ahead and remove, uh, you know, the section over there. Uh, basically, you know, just the section and it goes ahead and takes that out over there. So all said and done, these the the creating the sections in the Microsoft Forms is a really powerful feature that is available over there. I've shown you how you can go ahead and now put all the data into sections and then do changes, including branching at the section level. So hopefully this information was helpful to you. Uh, do like and subscribe to my video over there, and I enjoy reading those comments. So thanks again for watching this video.